Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So the lovely people at Artex have sent me a few products for me to review, two specifically. And the first product that they sent me was their ALP or ALP series of markers. And you can see it comes in this beautiful box and they provided me with the 80 marker set. But I do believe they have the 12, 32, 36, and 40 set available as well. But I'll get into that a little bit later, but yeah. So next off, we have the second item, which is the uh, Kara Kara Sketch Marker Pad, which is, I guess, considered their number 313 sketch art pad kind of sketchbook. I really love the binding of this, and I think it's a really cute size. And it is a marker pad that is specifically used for alcohol markers. And I'm going to get into the reason why I really like this over like normal paper used for like, you know, like cardstock or printer paper that people might use for like alcohol markers or just for testing. Um, inside has 56 sheets of this beautiful marker paper and the marker paper is actually quite thin but what I love about it is that it has a back coating that allows the markers basically to not bleed through to the other side which is really nice so you don't have to worry about you know putting another sheet of paper in between but also you're able to tear out the pages super easily. So maybe rip one, keep it for later, and you can use it to kind of save your other sheets from having any bleeding coming through. So the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is the unboxing of the markers itself. So you can see that it comes in this pale green box, which I think looks really cute with this little strap or handle, which you can see you can use it to help carry the case around if you're on the go um, but also you can push it back downwards and it kind of lays flush with the box like it's kind of just out of the way and I'll make sure to add it a little bit later but once you open the box itself and make sure to lay your markers horizontally um, you can actually convert the lid part to a flap so that it's kind of angled towards you in a nice way or in a way that allows it to be displayed so on the inside, you can see kind of like a sneak peek of the markers and you can see that there is a postcard with the same artwork as the front cover or the lid of the marker set, but that's a really cute postcard. And then yeah, next you have a thank you card right here and it kind of explains like the hashtag that you can use to share art that you made with the products that um, is from the company. And then here we have the very important swatch card, which has the numbers and the names of each of the individual markers. And you can easily just swatch kind of like either scribble or just do a block of color to show what colors is each marker prior to using it. And I think it's also very helpful to have when using the markers. Um, also, Artex's little swatch sheet comes with little tips, so I definitely recommend reading those if you're having any issues or um, experience anything a little bit surprising such as leaking, which I didn't have any problems with, but like I said, please store your markers horizontally to help evenly distribute your ink properly. <laughs> Um, here is a quick overview of all the markers. Now you can see that the markers are kind of randomly placed into the box. I'm actually going to be reorganizing them to represent the same order that is on the swatch card just to make it a little bit easier. But um, before we get into that, I'm going to show you guys that the barrel of the marker, as you can see, is kind of like this white gray color and the barrel itself is kind of like a rounded triangle so it doesn't roll off your desk and it sits quite nicely and it's comfortable to hold um, for the marker itself it is a chisel tip and a bullet nib i believe that artex actually has a different set called the oros or o r o s set of markers that has the brush tip like markers for it i think it's brush tip and the chisel tip so if you prefer that you can check out those sets um, but yeah, inside the box also has these really neat little containers or like little slots so your markers can sit perfectly and nicely organized instead of like squeezing into and kind of jumbling the, themselves in the box. So I think this is great for organization, but also being able to transform your carrying case into kind of like a mini storaging or your workspace. Like it kind of like 
fits perfectly because of the way the lid can also turn into a stand as well. I'll show you guys a picture if I haven't already. Um, on to swatching. So I found swatching fairly boring, so I won't bore you guys with just filling up the sheet. So we'll just run through the full thing a little bit. And yeah, I just basically ran through the whole box because I did organize it by the same order that the swatch card came in. And you can see that there's a whole variety in the 80 set. So yeah, they have a good range of darks and lights as well as plenty of mid-tone colors for you guys to use. I'm gonna straight up say this, I apologize for butchering Goro so badly. Um, I'm gonna be doing two illustrations today. At the point of me doing this recording, I have done like two and a half uh, marker illustrations using the Artex um, the sketch pad, the sketch marker pad, and the alcohol markers. But um, I kind of did do the line art, I believe, on camera. I don't know where the footage went, but because of that, I did skew his eyes a little bit more than usual, which is kind of bad because I was like looking at my webcam's viewfinder kind of thing, like on my computer to see if everything looked okay instead of looking at my actual drawing. And I didn't realize how skewed it was because at this angle, it doesn't look too bad. Um, but let's talk about the sketch pad, marker pad first. So the marker pad, like I said, it works really well with their alcohol markers. I think things can apply very smoothly. It wasn't patchy. Um, a lot of the colors filled in quite like in solid strokes. Like you couldn't see strokes in anything. So I think that's really great about using alcohol markers, but I think using the appropriate paper is also just very good to do um, if you have the means to. Um, I haven't had very much experience using alcohol markers. I've always had like kind of like one-off markers. I only have like a select few of like a few gray colors and maybe like a teal and a brown from Asaki and like one skin tone color. So I've never really used like alcohol markers all that much. So this was a little bit new to me. I did have to learn about the blending and stuff for the markers and finding tones and colors that I really liked. So the sketch pad, marker pad, um, I really like this because it did make it quite easy for me to apply things evenly, but also to layer up colors was quite nice. I didn't have to worry about oversaturating the paper to a certain point because of the type of paper that this is. The surface of it is very smooth and there's no texture, but also the back surface allows to basically layer up as much as you need to without worrying about bleed through because of their like their coating at the back it just prevents it which i really really like um another thing was that blending the markers were quite easy but i do realize that there is a little bit of more fussing in terms of blending the markers i definitely recommend picking colors that are close enough to each other or working quickly to blend out the colors if you do not mind kind of just I guess like constantly moving your pen to blend the colors. It does take a little bit more effort, I think, to blend the colors out if there is a larger difference between your shading color and your other, like your base color, basically. Um, but a lot of the other colors like blended out really nicely. Like you can see the golds and kind of like browns in Goro's hair. If I didn't mention, I am drawing Goro from Genshin Impact and later on I will be drawing Toma. Um, yeah. As you can see, I did mess up um, coloring in his white portion of his like little chest plate thing, um, but I used the colorless blender to kind of push around the pigment and kind of lighten it up. And then I added some other colors to make it look like it's just more like a muddier shadow rather than me making a mistake. So yeah, you can definitely blend colors out or lift colors a little bit. So yeah, I really do enjoy using the alcohol markers. It was quite, enjoyable for me to use. I am adding a background really quickly to Goro. I'm just choosing kind of like a pale jade green color um, around him. But as you can see, I wasn't really liking how Goro looked. His face looks skewed. So we're gonna do round two of illustrations, okay? Or not illustrations, one illustration. Um, another thing I didn't mention in terms of the paper is that it's really easy to tear out the paper. Like not so easy that it's like super fragile, but it's just easy enough for you to rip out the page without it feeling like you're ripping out the entire booklet along with it. Like the 
paper just easily comes off from the glue. It kind of feels like um, like those notepads almost. Like it's sturdy enough to stay in the book, but if you actually just tear it out, then it's quite easy to do and it's fairly clean. So if you do not like to work in a book format, you can definitely just take out the sheets of paper and I don't think you have to worry about beveling or anything. The paper accepts the ink quite well. So yeah, I don't think there was an issue about that. Oh, let's talk about the pens I'm using. The pens I'm just using were like old Micron pens that I had laying around. I decided to test out a bunch of pens to make sure that the ink did not smudge. Because I don't work with alcohol markers that often, I didn't have appropriate pens. Um, I usually work with like water-based mediums or painting, so I usually have waterproof pens, but a lot of the pens that I like using kind of like smudge or lift. Um, for Toma, I actually didn't have any issues using the Microns, and it was quite easy for me to layer up his skin tone. Um, you can see I'm using kind of like a light peach, and then I shift into a darker, more pinkier color for most of the shadows. Please ignore the seam on his thumb. I kind of forgot that he has like fingerless glove type things, um, and I kind of put his whole thumb in the glove, and now he has like a seam. Um, but it was kind of fun to add purples and blues into the skin and because of how the marker blends It actually looks really nice and I really do want to um, Buy their other sets eventually like their skin tone sets, so I can draw a bit more of other characters because I would like to draw um, Characters like Shinyan or Kaya more comfortably, but um, some of their skin tone does not match from this set in particular um, I think this has a good range of colors. It does have a lot of like deeper, more saturated dark colors. You have a fair amount of actually like warm grays, blue grays, and I think you have, let's see. Yeah, you have warm and blue grays, but I believe they have a whole set of like gray colors and a different set of markers. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, um, Artex actually has a lot of different set of markers that are kind of like colored themed as well as like they have different series. Like this one is the ALP or ALP series. And then they have the OROS or the OROS um, series, which is the brush tip marker instead of the bullet nib. So if you prefer that, it is a little bit more expensive, but I do think it's worth um, giving it a try if that's what you're interested in. But their other sets that they have are color like kind of more color coordinated so they have like a pink and purple set a more like kind of like bluish set like blues and purples and they kind of have like greens like yellowy greens to cool greens and then they have more of a skin tone and they have gray they might have other sets but i'm not too sure i might have to double check um but yeah I really enjoyed using the markers. I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy it. I think it's definitely one of the more affordable brands and the quality of it, I actually really like to use um, these and I like being able to draw on a sketchbook or a like kind of like a, a pad of paper. Like this thing is quite nice because it feels like an actual sketchbook. Um, the binding's really cute. It has like a clear front on top of a kind of like cardboard um, cover and the cover is kind of like pearlescent so it's looks really cute and it's quite just easy to use and a great size. It is smaller than A5 I believe but yeah I just think it's quite easy to use along with the alcohol markers and I don't have to worry about bleed through because that's usually my biggest gripe about um, alcohol markers. I didn't talk about this in the beginning because I did mention it. My only gripe... Okay, I must have been confused with a different brand or something, but um, my, my gripe was actually not a gripe because I just double checked and there's actually no issues. I know a lot of brands that I've used in the past where have like I've used one-off markers a lot of the cap colors do not match very well but actually looking at the Artex um, caps to these color swatches and for the most part they're represented like quite accurately I think there might be like a marker like a marker or two that might be just like you know a bit off or like more mid-tone rather than pastel or something like that um, but for the most part they're actually super accurate so I decided to redo this voiceover part because I think there would have been a misunderstanding if I said that incorrectly 
other than that, I actually didn't mind using the chisel and bullet nib. I think you can do just as well with them. Um, but if, like I said, if you prefer brush markers, they do have that available, so you can definitely check it out. I want to say a big thank you to Artex for sending me um, these supplies for me to try out and to share with you guys. And yeah, I really do appreciate it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as well as the little illustrations. I do apologize for butchering Goro, but hopefully me doing Toma will kind of boost that a little bit. I had a lot of fun drawing them though. I definitely think I needed to take my time doing the sketch so that they didn't turn out derpy. So yeah, I definitely want to check out their skin tone set so I can draw Shinyan because I I've been really liking her in Genshin again. I haven't used her in a while after I benched her from being my physical DPS. But hopefully I'll talk to you guys next time in another video. But yeah I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!